one day camp, you know, this last Friday. We had about 400 kids there, a lot of quality recruits. So I, I think that's the biggest difference. And also the accelerated pace in recruiting at the Division One level. You know, you, it's a, you know, seven day a week deal, you know, all year long that you actually do recruiting. Uh, so that's been the dip, biggest adjustment for me and probably some of my staff who's made, made the transition from FCS to, uh, to the Division One level. We certainly have tried. Uh, we went out and hit every high school in the state of Georgia. My assistant coaches' uh, problem well, when you move to the uh, Division One level, the head coach is not allowed to go out during the spring. Uh, so that, you know, uh, hampered my uh, uh, relationships with the uh, high school coaches. I would have liked to have uh, done a lot more of that. But we went out and had seven camps around the state, one day camps around the state of Georgia, and got to meet quite a few of them through those uh, one day camps. Yeah, yeah, we're you know Georgia Southern had kind of moved towards running a, uh, uh, a a different style of triple option. They were still doing a lot of under center triple option, but they were also running some uh, triple option where they were in the gun and also in the pistol formation. But it was quite a bit different for our guys, uh, in particular the offensive linemen, pass protecting. Uh, they weren't really used to that. Didn't didn't pass protect very often. In a game, you know, sometimes no no times at all, or three or four times a game they might throw it. Uh, uh, though we're not going to throw the ball, you know, 50 times a game. We're going to be in that more of that 15 to 25 times a game range. We had to work a lot on passing this spring because that was an area of weakness for us. Thought they did a great job. Uh, kids were excited about it. You know, sometimes it's difficult. Uh, change is tough for. For anyone, adults, kids, wh whoever you're talking about, uh, but they did a really good job embracing the new staff, and I thought our staff did a great job of embracing the the uh, players that were already there, obviously, and, and uh, it worked really well this spring. I was very impressed with uh, you know the, the attitudes that they carried on into spring ball and into this summer. Well, I think it's given us a tremendous amount of confidence, you know, going down to Florida and uh, winning in the, in the swamp. Uh, besides the six national championships, that's the biggest win in the history of Georgia Southern football. So I, I think it gives our guys a, a lot of experience uh, playing a full slate of Division One opponents. Uh, obviously, you know, we're going to be playing a Division One opponent every week instead of once a season like they've done in the past. Well, you know, I, you know, our goals win every game. So, you know, I, I don't, you know, no, no one's going to put more pressure on my, on me than I put on myself. So, uh, you know, I know our guys are, are are fixated right now on on that game against North Carolina State and going up to Raleigh. It's going to be a great challenge, but you know, one that we're looking forward to. Well, that, that's our goal. You know, we, we want to be very, very competitive this year. You know, we're not looking to you know, build a program and take three, four, or five years. Uh, I've always felt that uh, you know the, the top flight FCS one AA programs could compete with the majority of uh, Division One programs, uh, be it one game or two games when you played them each year. Uh, the trick is to do it week after week after week. You know, and that's what we've got to have that same type of effort. That Georgia Southern had against Florida, we got to have that every single week.
Yeah. Well, I'm honored to, to be the head football coach at Georgia Southern. Just unbelievable traditions and history of the program, uh, starting off with Coach Russell, you know, the father of Georgia Southern football. And, you know, the, the, the people there are very passionate about the program without question. And, and uh, you know, you, you want to go someplace and coach where people care about the program, where you, you, the stands are full, you know, and they're, and they're excited about being at the football games. And, and the players have pride in representing the university. And all those things are very evident at Georgia Southern.